Good evening, YouTube. Derek here, Hardball Crazy, coming back at you with a little bit of a showcase video. Uh, I'm going to show you off my uh, Tiffany rookie cards. If you're not familiar with Tiffany, that's a premium set, tops made uh, from 85 through 1991. And then the Bowman sets so 89 90. It's basically the exact same set as the other one, but it's more of a glossier. High, much more limited set than the regulars. This is a comparison. This is a Tino Martinez. Can you tell which one's this is the exact same thing, but the backs for the Tiffany is a little bit higher gloss. Much more limited print run. I don't know the, the numbers vary year by year, but it's much more limited than the other ones. I have, uh, of course, they did also did the traded version too, but they're very hard to tell the difference from the naked eye. Because the trade it has the same type of back as the Tiffany's with a the bright gloss look to into it. So the easiest way to tell between the uh, from is look at the backs. I only have I don't have any uh, Tiffany top trade to show you, but I have this Greg Maddox Ricky card. If you look at the backs, the very bottom, you see those two little stars. All the base traded sets will have those stars. The Tiffany's will be totally blank there, no uh, no stars whatsoever. So if you're looking for, uh, if you wonder, what, if you're looking at a traded card, if it's a Tiffany or not, uh, of course the front's going to have a little glossier finish, and but the back is um, easier to tell from the like, internet and pictures is the star on the bottom. Traded has the stars, Tiffany's do not. Uh, other word of advice is that if you're buying from eBay, for example, and uh, make sure you see the fronts and backs of the cards. Some um, buy sellers on there will say a card is tops Tiffany, thinking of Tiffany meaning a gem mint. And it's not really Tiffany, it's just a regular base card. So make sure you see the backs and the front, make sure it is Tiffany. Either the seller is either totally naive or they're trying to swindle us. So I would, uh, word of advice, I would check the front and back before purchasing a card on the internet. That way you know it is a Tiffany, not a regular one. Because Tiffany has a much higher premium than the base set. So here we go. This is my rookie cards from 85 through 1990. I don't have any 91 rookie cards from Tiffany. Bears and Tops and Bowman. And um, these are basically all stars, kind of stars of the era, guys I liked. We've only got one Hall of Famer in the bunch. Um, just fans, I, guys I was fans of, stars of the era. So I thought these are good, cheap uh, nice rookie cards to have in my collection uh, that's different from the uh, base tops Fleer Donruss. So first I'm going to start off with 85 tops. Mark Langston. Remember star picture before Randy Johnson. Of course, uh, if you don't know, they actually got traded for each other. See, this is Tiffany back. Cecil Fielder. Former Tiger great. The Tiffany back. 87 tops, Vincent Edward Boo Jackson. The Tiffany back. Also have an 87, Barry Bonds. Will Clark. Chuck Finley. And Rafael Palmero. 88 tops, my only Hall of Famer is my Tom Glavin. The Tiffany back. As you see, it looks exactly like the top straighted backs, but this is the Tiffany. 89 Bowman. I have Steve Finley, former center fielder, all star. Rob Ventura. Gary Sheffield. Tino Martinez. And Sandy Alomar Jr. 89 tops. Pedro's older brother, Ramon Martinez, who was an all-star in his own right for a decent, had a pretty decent career. And the Sandy Amalar Jr. in tops. 90 Bowman. Moises Alou. Former MVP, Mo Vaughn. And 90 tops. Juan Gon, Juan Gonzalez. I do have one uh, graded one I bought found on it. I was buying looking for a, a Tiffany rookie card of him found it uh, dirt cheap as a uh, 
PSA 9, so I have the Bernie Williams PSA 9 Bowman Tiffany. Found it so cheap, I said I had to get it graded. I paid like four and a half bucks for it. There you go, that's my Tiffany rookie cards from the era. I'm kind of looking for some other ones, such as like Eric Davis and Larry Walker and Horsheiser and John Smoltz. And I'm not really going after the, the like the Frank Thomas or the Chipper Jones or the uh, King Griffey Jr. because they're a little high price. I'm not going to go for them too much. But um, basically, I'm kind of picking up some rookie cards from the era that uh, I can find a Tiffany to a decent price. I'm doing it. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good evening, and I hope you all enjoy the All-Star game tonight. Thank you.